So I ordered up a Everlast Cyclone 140E. Um, and uh, showed up. The first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm having trouble finding new runners for my skis on this uh, old snowmobile here. So we're just going to weld some extra bits onto the existing metal that's left and hopefully that helps out a bit maybe grind a v in there um i ordered it with the uh, extra serrated wheel because i'm gonna be doing flux core out here in the wind um and some extra tips it came with you know one of each size it looks like probably 30 and what do we got 30 and 20 23 30 and 40 that's weird um and the hose mig gun i know the ground wire that it comes with is super short uh they didn't have any longer ones available at the time but i mean these are just standard fittings i can just go pick that up and make my own longer one later um and then it came with the regulating valve and i've got a little gas bottle too but we're not gonna hook it up uh for outdoor work here so see how she goes so first impressions i'm pretty happy with it it's just running off a generator uh, the settings are super easy to kind of screw around with and figure out. Um, I'm doing flux core, so positive ground. It says in the book how to how to do it there. But there's just a little loop wire you put on the other side to make it go through. And uh, I won't get too close. I'm not a professional welder, but I'm happy with the results here. So all good in my books. And just the the settings in here. I turned it off now, but um you can choose your wire type and then when it's on you just have the ability to control the uh the feed rate and the voltage manually totally if you want or you can hit the power set button and choose uh thickness of metal and uh the wire and stuff um and then you can adjust or fine tune your feed rate and voltage in that setting so like Mine wasn't exactly an eighth there, but I was able to compensate with the presets. It worked well. So I'd show you, this is the little manual it comes with, but it tells you here, you know, the difference flux core or gas or, and how the connections are gonna go for you. And uh, I also picked up this guy off of uh, Amazon there. It was relatively cheap by comparison. I've had a few of those Canadian tire ones over the years. And uh, this one's nice because it's got a battery in it, not one that's trying to charge off the panel. So the uh, response rate is, in my opinion, spot on right off the get-go. I don't feel any welder's flash after using it. And uh, lots of different settings for different stuff and they all seem to work. So I like it. 